Well, hello there. I'm Mike Creevy for Homeschool Connections, and with me today to talk about his homeschool connections experience and his courses is Mr. Matt Watkins. Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing well today, Mike. Thanks so much. I appreciate uh, your taking your time to do these interviews. It's been fantastic. Oh, it's my pleasure, and I'm a little jealous of you now because you're, of course, outside, which is <laughs> a nice place. Well, I figured, I figured since it's an environmental science class, I should be outside when you do this interview. Not a bad idea, yeah. <laughs> well, so why don't you just tell us a little bit about your own background and kind of what led you to Homeschool Connections in the first place? So my background in college and has been in, has been biology and environmental science, and I've worked in the public sector and the private sector doing environmental uh, environmental compliance and environmental um, advocacy for I guess about thirty five years. Okay. Uh, and uh, I came to Homeschool Connections really when it got started. I think uh, part of Homeschool Connections is uh, some kind of, you know, I remember when Maureen wanted to get this going and how she was, you know, excited about trying to get something like this going. And, and I know I did my first uh, environmental science class in 2013, live class in 2013. And, and uh, I saw Maureen again in like 2017. She says, can you do another live class? <laughs> and I said, okay, I can do one. And I did one in 2018. And, and, uh, and she's come to me again and said, Hey, we're changing formats. Do you think you can do another live class? Do you think you can make it a year long as opposed to, as opposed to just a semester? Oh, wow. So, so that's been, so, so that's been my experience, uh, with homeschool connections. And like I said, uh, I've been doing environmental, I've been doing environmental work for, uh, for about 35 years. Sure. And I kind of, I, and I think I pretty much know the ins and outs of at least the, at least the the, the clean water side of things. Mm. Uh, but I've got some good background in in, uh, in other areas uh, and, uh, that are out that are out there when it comes to the environment, because the environment's about sure. the land, the earth, the earth, the air, and the and the, and the water. Right. Well, that's I was going to ask if there's you know, particular areas of interest or particular you know approaches, things that that you really try to highlight. During the class, yeah, or I guess well, just even in your own life, but yeah, because I'm assuming well, that would probably come into the you know class as well. Yeah, so uh, most of my work that I've done has been uh, has been in the has been in the area of uh, uh, watershed protection, water water quality. Uh, what are we doing? To, what have we been doing for the past uh, fifty years or sixty years to 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 clean the to clean the rivers, make them you know rec make them at least recreational waters and. And we've come a long way in, in that time in that time frame. So a lot of what I've done has been has been has been water work. Uh, but sure. some of some of the work I've done in advocacy uh, had to do with the clean air had to do with clean air, and what we're doing what we what uh, the U.S. is doing for for clean air. And then um, uh, my master's degree in environmental sciences and policy from Hopkins was really a well-rounded, rigorous program that took us. Uh, from everything nationally here in the United States, as well as as well as what's being done globally, what's being done in the international community, uh, everything from you know I think we hear about the Paris Accord and and what's going on with um, uh, the greenhouse gas emissions to to even the I mean there there have been even pre, there there were previous uh, there were previous. Accords that were out there that were for other uh, that are for other uh, pollutants that are that are problematic, mm -hmm. and that's and and ultimately that's kind of to a great degree that's what environmental science is about. It's really the sure. applied science of ecology. Okay. Um, ecology is that kind of base science, and uh, environmental science is to me is really the application of of what you have in a, what you have in ecology. How do you how do you make it? Uh, you know, how does it function in the real world? Right. And I imagine there would be a, you've already mentioned it in here, but like a historical component to that, you know, to try to bring students up to speed with just the, the framework of, of how these discussions have been had and how, you know, areas where there's been change, development, that kind of stuff. But I, would there, would it also, I wonder, um, have connections with a, a, from a theological standpoint, right, as far as, as proper stewardship, per se, I, I I tend Ab to think of it in terms of that a lot of times too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I try to introduce the course to the students from the standpoint of, you know, Adam and Eve were given, we're, we're, we're told to tend the garden, to right. take care of the garden. And it starts, and it all starts there. 
uh, and the fall happens and, uh, and, you know, I don't know that there's a, I don't know that there's a, a ton in scripture about, you know, there's a whole lot about farming and, and, and the like, and you get lots of stuff about, you get lots of, uh, aspects of, of, uh, uh, you know, the fig, you know, the fig tree and, 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 and agriculture. Right. Uh, but we've come a long, well, we've ca- come a long way from the agrarian society. Right. Uh, you don't have a lot of like con- modern or n- any like modern, very consumerist, industrial, massive right. kind of pollution level stuff in scripture. Right. But the the seeds for what can lead to that sort of you know social sin mm-hmm. is certainly there. Yep. And but I and and I want to I I really come at this from from the from a U.S. point of view. Uh, and you know, one of the first things that we start, that was, that was really started as really kind of the beginning of the environmental movement was the national park service and, the, mm-hmm. and that system of parks that we put in place to say, you know, nature is an important thing and we need to do, you know, I think the leadership, uh, in, in the country said, you know, we need to preserve these things or at least conserve these things. So people get to, because there's, because they're so beautiful and so magnificent, we need people to be able to see them. And I'm sure. not, and I'm unsure whether that same kind of, you know, I, I think there is a, a, there might be a different mindset in some of the folks in Europe when it comes to, you know, we've had the Matterhorn, here. we've had the Matterhorn here forever. We've been, we've been hiking it for, you know, as far as Western Civ goes, we've been hiking it for forever. So people have a better, uh, you know, people in Europe have a, have, have a historical context for these beautiful mm-hmm. places where here in the U.S., it wasn't. I don't think there was as because people weren't living out west. It wasn't a great deal of people right. living out there. There's a there's there are great population centers in and around Europe that that you know they know kind of what the boundary is, and sure. uh, and it was up to this country to say, hey, we're going to help, we're going to help set those boundaries and let people know these are places that we find to be need to be protected and need, not, not so much protected. They need to be cherished and uh, let's do what we can to cherish yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Watch it and cherish. Yeah, because respect. I think respect is not wrong, but it, it, it comes across maybe sometimes to people more as uh, legalistic, formal. Whereas, like, there's a, yeah. there's a. I I love, Nate. Like, I love being out in God's creation, right? And it, yeah. it's it's. Uh, we see that in Saint Francis, you know, who was by no means worshiping nature, but but through nature, being able to have this direct encounter with the one who was fashioning it right at that moment for him, you know, in that context. So. Um, yeah, there's, it seems to me like there's such a lot of, of really neat crossovers here with this, you know, between the, I hate to use the word secular side, but the, you know, the more maybe immediate, you know, pragmatic yeah. kind of concerns, but, but how there's this underlying destiny too, you know, for, for nature behind it, we have to be aware of. But yeah, the, I mean, a, a, absolutely. The, the environmentalist movement came into being in modernism. So you've got this, you do have a very heavy aspect of the, the modernist side of things. And I want to say in the course, this is a something I, I, I try to address with the folks because the compendium on social doctrine actually talks about actually has a section on on the environment. Mm-hmm. And I and I want the I want the students to realize, oh, you know, the church isn't just the church is aware of this and has addressed it and has uh, and uh, it, and cares about it. Uh, but we also don't want to elevate it to a level of worshiping and creation. Right. And I think that line's not too hard to, to be aware of, but it sometimes gets missed. So you have a real opportunity here with this, you know, this course and just in so many different ways. So, um, well, I'll tell you what, Matt, we, uh, <laughs> we, we are keeping these pretty short just to give people a highlight. We don't want to give too much away too. We want them to take your, your, uh, your courses, the homeschool connection. So is there anything else you want to share just in closing for now? Anywhere else you want to direct people to, to learn more parents and students alike? I think just go to the Homeschool Connections Environmental Science page, or and that's I think I'm the only one teaching environmental science, uh, and you can you can reach me through Homeschool Connections. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for stopping by today and telling us about your Homeschool Connections courses. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. God bless you. God bless. <laughs>